This is a collective message for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Stars exclusively. Gemini, in your pre-reading meditation, I heard plot twist. Someone you have been talking to has been talking to someone else. Everything is going to fall out of the closet and be exposed. I feel like someone is going to open a door and information is just going to tumble out at them. However, I see the things that are tumbling out are things that are unable to harm you in particular. I do see this information coming out and you actually stepping to the side and simply observing it all. Nothing actually touches you. However, I also notice that this information seems playful, but it is a lot of information. I feel like there is such an extensive amount that you are going to learn that it gives you some sort of advantage because I don't think that other people know you now have access to this information. I don't see anyone else here with you, but I do see, wow. This information is limitless in some way. So this can be someone calling you or you finding out information about something. This also looks to me like you having access to infinite information. So this could be an increase in spiritual gifts or spiritual prowess. Um, I do feel like you do something that unlocks a door and I don't want to use the word overwhelmed, but there is an abundance of information that comes your way. Interesting enough, I also hear you're going to get a horseshoe. Now, I associate horseshoes with lucky, like um, lucky charms or something of good luck. I also, for some reason, I'm feeling it necessary to associate this horseshoe with money. This could even be Horseshoe Casino. Spirit just said, yes, lots of money. I also heard someone say very... <laughs> They just said, don't spend it all in one place. So if you do win money in a casino, make sure you do not play it all back. I heard whatever you win, keep 80% for yourself. If you feel compelled, only spend the, wow. I think that this is someone who might be in a casino space like um, Las Vegas or away on a or something I feel like keep 80% and over the next few days only play with the 20% of your winnings I just hold heard go home a superstar interesting Gemini I heard you are in the belly of the beast carve your way out of there I literally see someone like in a whale's belly and they're taking a knife and they are simply carving out some sort of space for them to escape. 
I feel like you do this and not only do you escape, but you kill whatever this is you leave behind. Spirit is telling me that you are wrapped up in something that is using you as its fuel. This can also be some sort of commotion situation of, interesting enough, I was going to say gossip. They said contemplation. So somebody might be overthinking, thinking too much, needing to release themselves from thought. I also feel like some of you are wrapped up in situations of commotion, strife, cattiness. You can cut your way out of this. I also feel like in some way, form or fashion, Gemini, you are the source feeding this situation, whether you know it or not. You know it though. You definitely know that you are feeding this situation. I do see someone putting their hands up in the air and dropping their head like, no, 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 I don't have anything to do with this. But silently they're saying to themselves, yeah, I, I probably fucked up. I just heard, be honest. I also feel like Gemini, you are being called to cut the cords on a situation or you are aggressively working to cut the cords on a situation. And I feel like there are several of them. I feel like they're attached to all parts of your body. I mean, it just wraps around the torso for the most part, but I feel like there's seven to eight different people issues, things that you are cutting away. There may be more than that, but this is going to be a extensive release that you're doing. Now, once you cut away from these cords, I see that you float up in the air. So as an air sign, that makes sense for you. But here's the deal. Whatever you are attached to is keeping you grounded. I strongly feel like the, this has something to do with earth signs. Also, spirit said fire. So you may be wrapped up in something with an earth or a fire sign um, or signs with an S. I also feel like there is some sort of addiction here as well that has snuck up on you. It could be related to wine or sugar. Same thing. Although wine is alcohol, it is still sugar. I feel like this has snuck up on you. Um, I don't know if you all just heard the computer ding, but that's confirmation. I also feel like the sunset is an important part of someone's reality. Um, or is this the sunrise spirit? No, it's definitely the sunset setting. Wow. Wow. Interesting enough, today I was talking to a friend and I told them that I was going to a place called Sunset. Um, that was a mistake that I had made in, in my speech. I was going to a place called Soul Shine, but I said sunset. I realized I had made a mistake when the person asked me, well, where is that? And this person is pretty familiar with the area. I happened to find it, that this, look, this place actually does exist in the city that we live in. It literally does exist. So I was going to go there today instead of the place I originally intended in my mind and I did not go. So if there is a place um, that has popped in a mistaken location that has popped into your mind or some sort of mistake you made, 
um, with a place that you were going or something that you were supposed to do, go forward with the mistake. The mistake is on purpose. It is from spirit. Move in alignment with the mistake. Wherever you were intending to go or, or whatever you were intending to do and you got sidetracked to do something else or you were just randomly pulled towards something else, go with the something else. There is something there for you. Okay. That was clever of your spirit. I see you. I just heard, make amends with your partner. I just heard, make amends with your mother. And then release. Wow. So it looks like, Gemini's, there's some work to be done around understanding forgiveness and release. I do feel like um, this door opens for you after this release is made. This person who you're making amends with, this partner or this mother is either an earth sign or a fire sign likely. Wow, okay. So they're taking me on a journey. Once you release, cut these cords, do this understanding forgiveness section, release these people. And I mean, when you release, it's not in anger, it's not in strife. I also feel like you're going to go through this understanding and forgiving process with people who do not understand or forgive you. I don't feel like you are going to find yourself in alignment with um, with these people who you are to release. But the intention is not for you to be in alignment with them. It is for you to be fully cleansed in your own heart, soul, and mind, body, so that you can move on. But this is what they show me, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, Gemini. Once you're released and you're floating back up in the air, first of all, there's some sort of joy that comes here. But then they put me in what I feel like is a, is a money box. You know, like one of those money boxes that they let you stand in when you're doing like contest and all the money you catch, you can keep. Okay. It looks like that, but there are no walls here. There are, there's no glass. There's just, you're up in the air and the money just floats all around you freely. You just reach out and grab it as you want it. It's, it's always with you. It's always available. So I feel Gemini, like once you are in your natural state again, being an air sign, you know, um, attached to nothing, mutable, excuse me, <clears throat> free, loving, open. I feel like this money just follows you. It floats right along with you. It is as gentle, as beautiful, as free as you are. You don't have to struggle to get it. You don't have to do put forth any effort to get it. It's literally like you're in a, in a wide open, permanent money machine. I feel like you call this money into your energy, just calls this money in towards you. Excuse me. 14, 14 on the clock. I also just heard satisfaction guarantee. I do see people down on the ground whispering about you and pointing. Now, interesting enough, this, this never gets to you. Whatever they're whispering and pointing about, it never gets to you. You're so elevated, so highly ascended that whatever these words are never touch you. So they're unable to bring you down. Gemini, 
sun, moon, and rising signs exclusively. This is your reading for today. I'm Auntie Thicke.